Oh, the state soccer playoffs entering the regional quarterfinal round. Tuesday was mostly for the ladies and the queens of Class A South in the regular season. Chevris moving over to Deering's Memorial Field to play, taking on Kenny Bunk. It was scoreless at the half. After the half, Emma Gallant takes over. On the cross, Lily Pasek finds Gallant. She capitalizes her second goal of the half, and Gallant wasn't done. She goes for the hat trick. Pasek plays the great through ball. No one going to stop Gallant. Three to nothing, Chevris. The Stags remain unbeaten at 15-0, moving on. Wyndham and Gorham meeting at Massabesic High School. 1-1 game in the second half. Olivia Misha, who scored Gorham's first goal, crosses it to Madison Sweat, who fights for it, and then finds the corner, and Gorham takes a 2-1 lead. Wyndham counters, but Lily Courtney preserved the lead in the cage for the Rams, and Gorham advances with a 2-1 win, where they'll face number one Chevris in the semis. All right, the other quarterfinal going on tonight, number six Falmouth at number three Scarborough. Sarah Calhan gave Scarborough a 1-0 lead in the first half. Scarborough trying to preserve it. Falmouth with a free kick to tie it, goes just wide. Scarborough looking for chances on their own end, and they'd have a great one, but Falmouth would come up with the save. Scarborough that holds on for the one to nothing win to advance in the tournament. All right, two programs that have had turnaround seasons. Number seven, Noble. Number two, Portland. Noble scored 27 seconds into the game, and Regan Kelly closed the door, gobbling up the quarter kick for the Knights. And then Portland, another great chance, but Alicia Pack is there to clear it for Noble. And Noble with the big upset, the seven seed with two to one. They face Scarborough on Saturday. Northern A girls, third seeded Mount Ararat hosting six seeded Bangor. First half, Eliza Libby the shot for Mount Ararat. Emma McNeil makes the save for the Rams. Other way, the Rams with a chance. And Elsa Delario with the save for the Eagles. And Bangor would take it in overtime 2-1 to one, with the upset in Thompson. Second seeded Brunswick hosting seventh seeded Hamden Academy in Northern A. Tenth minute of the game. Hamden can't clear it on their own. And Isabella Banks is there. She's opportunistic. one to nothing. Brunswick takes the lead. Later in the first half, Banks with a quarter kick. And Kinley Van Leer will knock it in first of her two goals. Brunswick wins four to nothing. They host Bangor in the semifinals this weekend. Class B North, MCI and Waterville girls playing at Mesolonsky first half. Waterville's Sophia Poole with the touch from way outside, and that's a beauty. One to nothing, Waterville. A few minutes later, check out the serve from Paige St. Pierre and the header by Paige Garland. Two to nothing, Waterville. They go on for the three nothing win. All right, B South. Number two, Yarmouth hosting number seven, York. First half, scoreless. Hannah Dwyer working the corner. She sends it all the way across the field where Caitlin DiApollonia would pick it up and go near post after the pullback. Two to nothing, Yarmouth beats York to advance to the next round. Defending state champ, Cape, the top seed in B South, taking on Greeley. Capers pressuring Greeley. The ball squirts out of the box. Olivia Cochran is there, and that's the last person you want with the ball in her foot. The laser for the goal. Six to nothing, Cape Elizabeth win to move on. Who do they face next? Fourth seeded Freeport hosting fifth seeded Lincoln Academy. Freeport led three to nothing at the half. Lincoln Academy trying to get on the board, but Leah Rusicki finishing with the shutout for the Falcons. Final two minutes of the game, Katriana Gould breaks in ahead of the defense. She finishes with the hat trick. Freeport four to nothing. They're at Cape in the semifinals. All right, there were some Class A quarterfinal boys games. Rivalry game in A, South Portland at Portland. 12 minutes in, and Selmo Taylor leaves it for Alex Malone's and an absolute firecracker into the back of the net. One nothing Bulldogs. Second half, Dom Delamini or Dom Delamini plays it ahead to Taylor with the ridiculous head fake here, and he blows past the defense, crosses the box, and scores. Two to one, Portland with the win. They avenge a regular season loss and move on. Northern A boys, Mount Ararat hosting Mesolonsky in the 4-5 matchup. First half, Mesolonsky putting the pressure on the net. James Singleton knocks it down, and then an Eagles defender clears the zone. Final minute of the half, Mount Ararat with a good chance, but Andrew Mayo with a leaping save. Mesolonsky goes on the road for the 2-1 win. Girls C South playoffs. Trape Academy of Kittery, the two seed hosting number seven Mount Abram. It was all Trape. Molly Sawtell plays the through ball to Emma McGonigal, who walks in. Rangers are up one nothing. They're the run up in the South last year, looking for a championship this year. Later, McGonigal crosses to Kathleen McPherson, who settles and fires six to nothing. Trape. They own it. They win it. All right, Southern D girls defending state champ NYA. Defending state champ NYA hosting Piscataquis. Fifth minute, Serena Mower ahead of the defense, beats the goalie. NYA 
with a lead, and they would roll from there. Later, Eliza Chase with a blast from downtown. This is a beautiful goal. And NYA, the defending state champ and top seed, advances with a 9 to nothing win. A whole lot of soccer here. More highlights coming up at 11 on WMTW. For now, Maine's total coverage at 10 on Maine CW is back after this.